Welcome to Devotional Daily. Today is March 18. Our title is, From the Days of Eden. Therefore, the Lord God sent him out of the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed cherubim at the east of the Garden of Eden, and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Genesis 3, 23 and 24. Expelled from the perfect garden in which they had been placed by God, humans have never again had access to their original home from which they were banished. Sons and daughters, generations have multiplied, all born, affected, and infected by a systemic evil. On this side of Eden, everyone is born with a colossal manufacturing defect, responsible for our permanent state of dissatisfaction, inadequacy, and pathological internal maladies. We might pretend to be exempt from the consequences of our first parent's sin, but this is nothing more than a gross heresy that dates back to Judaism and Pelagianism, with its idea that sin is merely a matter of will, but has not affected our basic nature. All heresies result from an inadequate understanding of sin. Not understanding the disease means not understanding or appreciating the cure. Any attempt of minimizing sin is radically opposed to the message of the scriptures. Like the Pharisees of Christ's day, some externalize sin, understanding it only in the terms of behavioral actions and not as a malignant disease. Because of this moral and spiritual disorder, all, except Jesus Christ, were born and are born in sin. They are children of wrath, of disobedience, walking in the desires of the flesh, dead in our trespasses. According to Ellen White, from Adam we receive nothing but guilt and the sentence of death. Selfishness, deeply rooted in our being, came to us by inheritance. Trying to solve the problem of sin with diets and human discipline is like trying to cure cancer with aspirin. What is our only hope? He who knew no sin was made sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians 5.21 And by grace you have been saved, and this is the gift of God, Ephesians 2.8. Glory and hallelujah to the Lamb who died for us so that by His grace we might live for Him.